Now, a lot of us are trying to figure out what to do to help us to come out of this phase of constantly having to deal with excessive shedding. I have a solution for you. So, enthusiasts of natural hair are constantly looking for ways in which to combat this excessive shedding and look for lasting solutions. Little did we know that we had something that could work for us and help us to reduce this excessive shedding. This has been an age-long standing remedy that has been used across board and you find this mostly with the Indians, you find this mostly with, with the Chinese, you know these people who have long hair and are able to preserve the length and the health of their hair over the years. So now we have been incorporating this one way or the other into our lifestyle into our routine but we are not aware of the benefits of some of these things and that is what i'm going to be sharing with you in today's video so make sure you watch this video till the end and if you do learn something from me make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel if you're yet to do so and don't forget to turn on the bell icon that will enable youtube to notify you whenever a video drops on this channel now this hair growth remedy i'm about to share with you guys is not just known to help you to maintain a healthy hair growth but it also has its health benefits so besides you focusing on the fact that it's going to help you to maintain the amount of hair that you shed or to control the amount of hair that you shed it's going to help you health wise i know you're going to find this very very interesting one of those things which has been known over the years for its antioxidant and a plethora of health benefits that it has is the use of green tea. Now I know that this is not the first time of you hearing about green tea, but probably this is the first time you're hearing of its benefits. Now, I'm going to be talking about how this green tea helps you to minimize your shedding. We have the amount of hair that we are supposed to shed at every single day, but when you're having it on the excess, it's not doing you any good. Your hair is just going to keep getting thinner and thinner and thinner and you're not going to be able to achieve the level of thickness or the amount of hair strands that is supposed to be on your hair because you keep shedding this hair every single time. Over the years, I've been incorporating the use of using green tea and sometimes I switch up to use black teas. So whichever one that is suitable for you, whichever one that you find convenient, you know, you can use. When you're talking about health benefits, of course, the green tea outweighs the black tea. I've done some research, I've tried to weigh the difference, but I'm not coming from the angle of what it does to your body system. Of course, there are lots and lots of benefits with using these teas, with drinking them, you know, incorporating them into your lifestyle so you can do your own research and find out which one is best for you but as it relates to helping with blocking dhts it has been known to help reduce drastically the amount of shedding that occurs now green tea plays a remarkable role in leaving you with a healthy look um healthy hair because it's very rich in nutrients like vitamin c vitamin b and more importantly antioxidants i'm going to put all this on your screen so you can read and it will also be very good if you can you know go ahead and do your research you know find out how this exactly works you know using green tea is very good for your hair actually it boosts your hair growth it will control your hair fall and so much more so this is how i prepare my own green tea it's very simple very easy when you have your green tea or your black tea or herbal tea guys you can use ayurvedic teas like ayurvedic herbs in form of teas so you just need to boil water have um, the quantity that you want to use maybe for a few days because i do not recommend to leave this longer than maybe five days unless you're going to put it in your refrigerator so just boil some water pour it in into the herbs the green tea or black tea whichever one you choose to use use allow it to sit for a couple of minutes so that it infuses properly into your water and then you sieve the chaff of the herbs or you remove the tea bag so that is as simple as it gets and then your tea is ready 
so you need to use this to uh, moisturize your hair or you can use this as i've shared in a couple of my videos i use this on my wash day as my final rinse i don't rinse it off i leave it in using it as a moisturizer is something i do once in a while like i'm not that consistent with it but for my wash day is a staple is a must that i use it if you're going to be using it to moisturize your hair you're going to use it as your liquid whichever method you're using to moisturize your hair whether it's the lco or the loc you're going to use it as your liquid then seal it in with your oils and your butter so someone was asking me if it doesn't dry out my hair no it can't dry out your hair because you have to follow up with a sealant you're not just applying the tea on your hair it's like applying ordinary water to your hair definitely is going to dry out but when you you know incorporate the use of oils and butters to hold in that moisture that you have put in you know there is no way it can make your hair to dry out and if for any reason you notice that your hair is drying out even after sealing it in then make sure that you're not using it every other day like you can use it once in a week you have to study your hair and see how your hair reacts to things like this before you can now decide how the frequency uh, of you using it is going to look like so that is not to say that it might work for everybody our hair is different we react to different things just make sure to do a patch test like do maybe the back section of your hair and see how your your scalp or your hair reacts to it before you decide to use it in the entire part of your hair guys my hair is in need of some tlc like is in need of some washing <laughs> and um i'm in my six weeks mark and it's time for me to rebraid my entire hair and also wash it as well so but that will be in another video if you're interested in seeing that make sure you don't forget to turn on your bell icon so that you are going to be notified when that video drops thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed today's video i hope you like it if you did please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you're yet to do so i'll see you guys in my next one bye bye